Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how to sketch quadratic equations. So the problem is set up like this. We have a quadratic equation in general. So constants A, B, C, these are the coefficients. And then this is the uh, quadratic formula. This gives us the solutions. So we can use this uh, whenever we've got a quadratic equation looking like this. And this will tell us the solutions. Now the solutions correspond to the graph crossing the x-axis. So knowing what the solutions are is going to tell us a lot about a lot of information about what the graph is going to look like. Now I just want to draw attention to this part under the square root. This is going to be called the discriminant. It's quite important. So I'm just going to write it out. So b squared minus 4ac, this is called the discriminant. And it essentially discriminates between what type of solutions we're going to get and how many solutions we're going to get. So this really determines what the graph is going to look like. We can see if this is positive, we're going to have plus or minus the square root of a positive number. That will give us two solutions. If it's equal to zero, we have the square root of zero. That's just zero. So plus or minus zero, that's only going to give us one solution. But if this is negative, then we have the square root of a negative number. And this isn't going to give us any real solutions. So this uh, in this case, it corresponds to not crossing the x-axis. So we're going to look at this in different cases uh, to see what the graph looks like. First off, we need to know what the graph looks like depending on what the coefficient of a is. So if a is greater than 0, then we are going to get a curve looking like this. And this curve is called a parabola. So we're plotting x on the x-axis. And we can write y on the y-axis. Um, this is just going to be the function of the quadratic. So we get this curve. It looks like uh, it's called a parabola. And it just, it's got tails going off to infinity. And it kind of curves upwards. So that's what happens if a is greater than 0. And correspondingly, if a is negative, we have a graph that just goes the other way. So it just flips that way. And the ends go to negative infinity this time. So that's what it looks like, depending on what a is. If a is equal to 0, this term just vanishes, essentially. So we're just going to get a linear equation. And this is just going to be a straight line. So we're not really interested in that case. But you just need to know that if a is positive, then this goes upwards. a is negative, that goes downwards. And now we're going to look at, uh, we're going to combine that with changing the value of the discriminant. So let me just free up some more space first. OK, we're going to have three different cases. Let me draw out three different graphs for each case. And these are going to be depending on what the values of the discriminant are. So if b squared minus 4ac, if this is positive, and we're going to look at the case that a is positive first. So if this is positive, we're going to have the square root of a positive number, and we're going to get two separate solutions. This tells us that the graph is going to cross the x-axis at two separate points. And because a is positive, we're going to get a curve that looks something like this. We're not really interested where it crosses. We're just looking at the shape for, for now. Um, but when the discriminant is positive, we're going to get two separate real solutions. So that's what's important in this case. Now, if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, if the discriminant is equal to 0 and a is positive, well, first off, we know that it's going to go upwards. But if b squared is equal to 0, uh, the square root of 0 is just 0. So we're only going to get one solution. We're going to have minus b over 2a. And so this corresponds to the graph only touching the x-axis in one point. So the only way it can do this is if it does something a bit like this. It just kisses the x-axis. It just crosses at one point exactly. So that's a very special case when the discriminant is 0. We only get one real solution. And we just get the graph crossing in one point. Now, there's also another case when b squared minus 4ac is negative. Now, this gives us a bit more of a problem because if we plug this negative number into the square root, we have a square root of a negative number and we don't get any real solutions. And no solutions means that this um, equation here is never going to be satisfied. So the um, quadratic formula, the quadratic equation is never going to cross the x-axis. So 
And this corresponds to the graph looking something like this. It just goes up, but it never touches the x-axis. So these are the three different cases depending on what the discriminant is. We're now going to look at the second case where A is, uh, oh, this is supposed to be positive. So now we're going to look at the um, corresponding case when A is negative. And essentially, we're going to get the same graphs, but flipped over. So let me just make up some space. So just like before, we're going to have three different cases. And we're going to look at what happens when the dis discriminant changes. So if the discriminant is positive, and this time A is negative, then the shape is going like this, it's going downwards, the ends are going to negative infinity, um, but the discriminant is positive, so using the same logic as last time, we're going to get two different solutions. So this graph, the parabola, is going to cross the x-axis twice. So we're going to get something looking like this. Two real solutions, and the tails are going to negative infinity. So for the second case, when b squared minus 4ac equals 0, and a is negative, we are going to get one, exactly one solution. So the curve is going to cross the x-axis once, and it's going to go off to negative infinity. So it's going to look something like this, just coming up and then kissing the x-axis, just crossing exactly once, and then going back off to negative infinity. And then we've got the last case when b squared minus 4ac is negative, and a is negative. So just like before, this is going to correspond to no real solutions. So at no point does this graph cross the x-axis. So we're going to get something looking like this, because a is negative, it goes off downwards, and it never crosses the x-axis. So obviously these curves could be shifted left and right, depending on what the values of a, b, and c are. But we're just looking at the general cases. So if the discriminant is positive, we're always going to get two different solutions. If it's equal to zero, we get exactly one real solution. And if, neg and if it's negative, we get no solutions. And depending on a, the value of a, the curve points upwards or downwards. So that is how you sketch a quadratic function in general.